Let's see if we can shoot the train. Bam. Oh. I think I missed the train. I think I missed the train and I shot the skyscraper back there. There goes the skyscraper. Jeez. Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here and welcome back to another Brick Rigs episode. Now, OB isn't here for this episode, guys, but what we are going to be doing is we are going to be checking out some really big and amazing creations. As you can see here, we have some downtown apartment buildings, which were made by Sean. And as you can see, they are very, very detailed. These ones here are for rent. They are pretty big. This creation here uses almost 8,000 bricks. But let's go inside and check this out. So on the inside here, of course, we got our living room, our kitchen. We also have a bedroom back there with a very comfy looking bed. Oh, what's that say? Detonate. Why would I want to do that? Oh, geez. I don't know. And then we also have a basement area. Check this out. We have a really fancy looking supercar down here. This is like a little garage bay. Pretty neat. I don't want to blow up my nice car. Let's go upstairs. Check out the upstairs here. Empty, empty, empty. It's for rent. There's nothing up here. We don't need furniture up here if it's just going to be for rent. Although there are some random cylinders there. And up here we have the roofs. Now let's hop down. And on the bottom here, we have this car, right? Yeah. So I was reading the description. And for some reason, the description told us... To press numpad 3. Get ready for this, guys. I don't know what it does, but here we go. And I flew underneath the map. I can't even see what's going on, guys, because the game is so choppy. That's 8,000 blocks just flying everywhere. Okay, so just down the street here, we have a new building that has been established in our city here, and it is a Waffle Co. fast food restaurant. If we just go around the corner here, we will see it. And this restaurant was made by Waffle Racer 04. And guys, I don't know what they serve here, but hopefully, hopefully it's waffles. So here we go. This is the Waffles Co. fast food restaurant, home of the Waffle Burger. Sounds tasty. So we got the drive through there. Um, maybe we should get a car and drive through there. Is that a good idea? Yeah, I think so. So we got this little car which was made up by a pound of apples. I used it in a few of my videos already and I love this thing. I don't know if it's going to be able to drive up. Here we go. Perfect. And it fits the drive through very well. If it didn't get stuck on the arrows right there. Okay, we can do this. Back up a little bit. Drive forward. And there we go. So let's take a look at the menu here. Waffle burger for $5 with the cheese. Extra 50 cents, which is a ripoff. 50 cents for cheese. A cheeseburger. 75 cents for cheese just for the cheeseburger extra 25 cent increase over cheeseburger what and fries two dollars with extra salt 50 cents what the heck is this this is a scam 75 cents for water a dollar for lemonade that's reasonable and moo milk a dollar 50 that's reasonable too all right i'm gonna go inside and speak to the manager about their increase in prices I'm just gonna park on the side right here. We're gonna hop out. Let's go inside here. Open. Uh, total of $14.92. I didn't even order anything. Man, there's no one here. There's no one here at all. So I guess that means I'm, I'm the new owner of this store. I'm gonna raise the prices even more, guys. I'm gonna raise the prices even more. Okay, guys, so I have a new vehicle here, and this is the heavy artillery unit made by Nothing Cool. So we have this uh, big truck here that hauls this artillery unit around. I think we're just going to stop right here, and I'm going to figure out how to use this thing. Because it seems to have a lot of stuff. Let's turn on the HUD here. We have these little foot pieces here. Let's see if we can drop them. I'm not sure how to really do this. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We're extending the supports. And now we are good, guys. Okay, so now that we have that out right there, I think we can just start moving the cannon. There's a train there. Let's see if we can shoot the train. Bam. Oh. I think I missed the train. I think I missed the train, and I shot the skyscraper back there. There goes the skyscraper. Jeez. All right, guys. 
You know that little restaurant over there? I heard there's a new owner. And he raised the price by three times. Three times. What we're going to do is we're just going to shoot that little... Shoot that little place back there. Waffle Co's is... No more. I'm not even... I'm not even hitting them. I got to wait for it to stabilize. I think it's a little too low for us to hit. Which is not good, guys. Not good. Can we extend this out a little bit right here? Okay, here's the train again. Here's the train. I'll shoot the train. Bam! I missed. I missed again. I'm just... I'm just destroying the whole city. Guys, we're gonna have to get closer. We are going to have to get closer to hit that. Wait, does this arc? Does this arc? Let's see. We're gonna shoot straight up. Nope. It's long gone. It is long gone. Okay, so let's move our artillery unit a little closer. We're just gonna have to get close-up shot of the building. Let's see if we can get over these tracks first. There we go. Sweet. Don't... Don't disengage on me now, trailer. Okay, here we go, guys. I think we're close enough. I'm just gonna park right here. Turn our cannon. And here we go, guys. I'm still shooting too high. I can't shoot any lower. So what do I do? I guess I get really close. Really, really close. Even though this is an artillery unit and I destroyed a ton of buildings, I think my only option now is to shoot it point blank. Bam! That did the job. That did the job very, very well. I destroyed the whole city block. Maybe... Two city blocks? Three city blocks? With this artillery unit? Can we destroy that big skyscraper there? Maybe. Let's see. Oh. And there it falls, guys. The skyscraper fell from our artillery unit. Alright. Wait, more buildings are still falling? What the heck? Well, guys. There we go. So we have this Mark IV World War I tank made by Bot CP. It says in the description that he got the sizes and the proportions very, very similar to the real tank. And I think, I think he even has guns. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Um, I'm destroying the city even more, more and more while I drive. Cool. Let's see how fast this thing can... This thing, oh. I I just hit a bump. I just hit a bump and this thing got blown to pieces. I got the perfect thing for that, guys. I got the perfect thing to help recover broken tanks. So we're going to head back over to the garage and we're going to pull it right out. And hopefully we can salvage that wreck there. I don't know what happened. I, it just blew up when I drove over a bump. Okay, guys, so we have this Berg Panther made by Verdeath. I don't know if I said the tank's name right, but essentially what this tank was used for, it was used for the recovery of broken tanks that have been shut down, burned down, and etc. And we're just going to take it over to our Mark IV over here, and we're going to see if we can salvage this wreck, even though... It's two opposite factions, but you know what? That's all right. That's all right. So this tank has a bunch of cool features. As you can see on the front there, there's a turret that follows the mouse. And we could just shoot. We'll just shoot a bunch of buildings here. Blow up those buildings. I don't think, I don't think the front cannon there was this strong, but you know what? It is in brick rigs. It is in brick rigs. Let's see if we can hit that explosive up on top of that building there. Here we go. I can't even see. We're hitting it, guys. We're hitting it, but we'll just destroy the building because it's... There we go. Big explosion. Okay. So, we also have a hatch, I think, somewhere on on the tank here. Yep, right there. Look at that. Now we can see on the inside here. There we are, driving the tank. And back here we got our engine. And up top we got our, I guess... The commander of the tank? Yep. Okay, so let's bring this tank all the way over here to our Mark IV and see if we can recover it, guys. We have a crane on the side. I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse. Let's lower the back claw thing. There we go. Let's scoop it up. Like this. I don't I think this was more for moving rubble and stuff. 
Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try to get the crane actuated into position and pick up the Mark IV. Okay, turn around, tank. Lift the claw, I guess. Oh, I'm I'm destroying it even more. I'm destroying it even more. That's okay. We can still salvage this. It's just gonna go straight into a museum. Okay, here we go. Let's move our crane. I think it's in a good spot, guys. Let's hop out. Let's grab the hook. Let's plop it right on here. Let's hop back in the tank and see if we can pull this up now. Here we go. It's working. We are recovering the Mark IV. Sweet. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. There might be a better... Um, I don't know where I am. I am flying. I am flying. Where am I going? No one knows. Where's the hook? The hook's gone. The hook is out of here. The hook is out of here, guys. Well, I think it's safe to say the Mark IV is unsalvageable. Maybe the metal. Refine it down. The only good piece is right here. That's the driver's seat. That's the driver's seat, guys. Well... I'm gonna try something here. Repair. That didn't work very well, did it? Repair. Here we go. Move it over here. Let's just drive it right here. Let's see if it explodes on impact again. Okay, and yep. It shattered. It shattered. Alright, well. That's it for those tanks, and I just flew away. Jeez, this game. This game is so glitchy. So glitchy. Okay guys, so there's one more vehicle I want to show you, and it is this SU-100. And it is one of my favorite tank destroyers in all tank history. I don't know why, but I believe it is a lot bigger than this in real life. But we're going to go over to the other tank over here, and we are going to try to destroy it. Now, the gun on here does not actually move around, doesn't pivot anywhere or anything like that. So we're just going to park right here, and we're just going to shoot that tank. Get ready, guys. There's no camera view, but bam. Blow it right to pieces. And that's what tank destroyers do. Russian tank destroyer against a German salvaging tank. I don't I don't even know if that's fair. Not really. Not really fair at all. Well, there we go, guys. That is pretty much it for this episode. Checked out some buildings, some tanks. I uh, had some explosive fun if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already and if you guys have any suggestions or anything else let me know in the comments and if you have any suggestions for challenges that you want me to do with ob let me know as well and we will for sure do more videos together anyways guys thank you for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet bye oh the gun just broke into little pieces and we're still good. We're still good. We can just we can still drive this. We're gonna drive this all the way up. Is that even possible? No, there's no way I'm getting out of here with this tank destroyer. Pretty much. Oh wow. Surprised they even got a height like that.